textures. A texture is an image file. Unity uses textures in a number of different ways. The most common use of a texture is when applied to a material in the base texture property to give a mesh a textured surface. For more information on materials, see the appropriate lesson. Textures can also be used for GUI elements, applied to additional material properties to act as normal maps, specular maps, or height maps, used as custom cursors, icons, splash screens, and more. Textures can be any image file supported by Unity. These can be photos straight from a digital source, but textures are usually images created or manipulated in an image editor like Photoshop or GIMP. It is important to note that the layered files will be flattened on import, but the layers are maintained in Unity in the original file. This means we can turn layers on and off without loss when we're setting up our game, but when we're running our game, we will not have access to these layers individually. Most of the image file formats used by Unity support transparency. The notable exception is JPEG, which does not. For more information on transparency and how to use it, see the lessons on materials and shaders. Texture files should be saved in the Assets folder. Unity searches the Assets folder in a specific order when syncing materials. For more information on searching for textures and syncing materials, see the lesson on mesh importing. A texture file should be assigned import settings in the texture importer. Texture type property contains a list of presets. These limit the number of editable properties available in the texture importer based on the intended use for the image. The default is texture. Advanced will expose all of the available properties in the texture importer. The other presets, including advanced, will be covered in another lesson. If we need to set the transparency, or alpha channel, for the texture automatically based on the light and dark parts of the image, we can check the alpha from grayscale field. Black will be completely transparent, white completely opaque. Wrap mode controls how the texture is mapped onto a renderer when tiled. This setting works for both 2D elements and 3D meshes. Repeat will repeat the texture, and clamp will stretch the edges of the texture. Filter mode controls how the graphics card renders the texture when it is stretched by 3D transformations. These are effectively quality settings, with trilinear being the best and point being the most basic. An ISO level controls the quality of textures when rendered at steep angles. An isotropic filtering increases the texture quality when viewed at a grazing angle. This has an increased rendering cost when applied. In quality settings, anisotropic filtering can be forced on for all textures or disabled completely. For more information on quality settings, see the appropriate lesson. Because Unity supports building to multiple target platforms from one project, the texture importer allows for a default setting for max texture size and compression format that can be overridden on a per-platform basis. Max size will set the maximum size for the imported texture. If Max size is set to a value larger than that of the original image, the size of the imported texture will be that of the original. This setting will not make a texture larger than the original image. If max size is set to a value less than the original image, the texture will be resized to that value on import. Like layers, however, the original file is unchanged. Only the imported asset will be adjusted. Format sets the compression technique. The default settings are relatively simple when using the texture preset. These are effectively quality settings of low, medium, and high. More control can be set on a per-platform basis or when using advanced. Each target platform can have its own settings that override the default values. Max size and compression can be adjusted for each target platform. This means we can set the target sizes and compression appropriate for the bandwidth and processing power of the target platform. When the build target is changed, these assets will be re-imported using the overridden values. This section works in conjunction with build settings. For more information on build settings, please see the appropriate lesson. At the bottom of the importer is a preview window. When the preview window is open, we can view the changes we have made. We will need to apply our settings before the preview window will update its display. The preview window will display the image being imported and report basic information about the imported texture, including the size of the imported texture, the compression setting, and the footprint of the texture in our game.